Hey everybody, I'm Ryan and you're watching 60 Cycle Hum. Today I'm showing you the True Spring Reverb by Source Audio. Uh, this is them taking uh, the outboard reverb patch that they developed for the Ventress and sticking it in its own box with some improvements and tweaks and extra features and of course a lower price point than the Ventress. Uh, I'm assuming the price point is going to be similar to all the other pedals in the One Series by Source Audio. So let's get into it. Let's check it out. Uh, let's see the range of everything and check out everything that this pedal has to offer. You know I'm going to do more videos in the future shooting this thing out against other pedals and other reverbs. I'm just not going to do that in this video. This is more of an introduction, I guess you'd say. All right, uh, we'll start with the mix and we'll work our way all the way through everything this pedal can do. Here's the mix at the mid position. Right around two to three o'clock, you get a 50-50% mix with the dry and the wet signal. And then it starts to change really dramatically. It gets fully saturated. If you just want a little bit of a subtle drippy click, chasing your trail. It's very pleasing to my ear. All right, the dwell control. Dwell kind of simulates how hard the uh, the springs would be being pushed in a physical tube spring or reverb unit. I think it does a good job of representing the range of what's available in one of those actual units. Of course, there's the tone control. You turn it all the way up to get all the way bright. All the way down to get all the way dark. It's a pretty subtle control, but it makes a big difference in a live mix. Uh, it's gonna let you dial in where that reverb drip is going to sit with the rest of the band and the rest of your guitar signal. Uh, there's a level control here. I'm not gonna mess with it too much now. Just know that it makes it louder and quieter. Not many reverbs have a volume control. I think the vast majority of pedals out there need a volume control because sometimes the effect causes the volume to sound like it's either jumping up in volume or it's lowering in volume. Reverb is one of those effects where when you engage it because it's kind of like averaging everything out and muddying your signal in a way, it can feel like the volume has dropped. Having that volume control there, so when you're switching this on and off, you just get that little bit of a boost to help bring you up above everything else is super useful and I'm so glad they in included a volume control on this pedal. Uh, let's talk about the switch here. I'm on the tank setting, which obviously is emulating a, uh, like I said, an outboard Fender reverb unit, a 6G15 sort of situation. Very drippy and surfy. The long setting simulates a long spring reverb that you would find inside of an amplifier. Sounds great to my ear, nice and bouncy, really full and lush, and of course a short reverb setting. It means a short pan, like a short reverb spring pan. It doesn't mean a short reverb trail. <laughs> All those settings have their uses. Obviously, I prefer the tank setting because I want that drip. I just want that drip. Uh, other feature of this pedal, it's got stereo through. I don't think there's actually a stereo quality to the reverb, but it allows you to pass a stereo signal through it. 
Um, you can plug it into your computer. There's ways to plug it into a phone and use software to edit the settings and get crazy. So maybe there are stereo settings locked up in this thing that I don't know about yet because I haven't plugged it into anything yet. Um, I actually don't even have the full manual for this thing yet because it uh, it's just coming out the day that this video publishes. Uh, I got a sneak peek when I, uh, when I got this thing in. So I don't have all the documentation yet. I'm figuring it out as I go. There is also a little switch back here and you hold that down and guess what? There is a built-in tremolo circuit in this pedal. Dwell controls the depth. Got to turn the guitar back on. Tone controls the rate. And the switch gives you three different styles of tremolo. Uh, tank is a biased tremolo. Long is our harmonic tremolo. And short is an optical tremolo. So if you need tremolo mixed in with your reverb at the push of one button, the True Spring has it. It's got your bases covered. I keep turning off my guitar, why do I do that? There you go. There's the True Spring by Source Audio. Uh, stay tuned, here in the future, I'm gonna have some shootouts against some other pedals. I'm gonna have it shoot out against some real spring units. I'm going to uh, get in there and tweak the software and find all sorts of different settings, figure out what this can do uh, when you get in deep into the pedal. So thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, just like, leave me rude and nasty comments if you like. I mean, if that's how you get your jollies. Uh, support me on Patreon by following the link right after this video. I just appreciate that you're here watching this and that you're excited about Droopy Reverb just as much as I am. All right, later guys.